I'm Carl Whitcomb, and I'm here to share with you information about growing plants in containers. One of the things about plants in containers is that the root system is above ground and is affected by heat and cold more dramatically than a plant growing in Mother Nature's Earth. With conventional containers, the only thing between the roots on the outside of the root ball and cold temperatures or hot temperatures, either one, is simply the thickness of the plastic. And that's virtually no protection at all. One of the things that has worked very well is instead of using smooth walled conventional containers, is to use root maker containers. I designed this based upon lots of observations and study of roots and how they grow and what have you. If you can see on the inside of that, there's a series of horizontal ledges and vertical ribs, such that instead of a root growing out and hitting the inside of this wall and circling and circling and circling, when a root grows out and hits the side wall of this container, the tip is guided into an opening where it's air root pruned. When the tip is exposed to air, it is dehydrated and dies. Essentially, that root tip is cauterized. It's not an open wound like if you cut it. But every time a root tip grows out, the tip is dehydrated at where it contacts the corner in the container, it branches. I call it the four inch rule because wherever a root tip is pruned by air, dehydration, branching will occur tremendous rate about four inches back from the tip because in killing the tip you've removed the hormonal control that otherwise dictates how roots grow. In overwintering plants these are crepe myrtle that I grew last year and will grow further and do further evaluations with them next growing season. But if I knock this out, with all these roots, every root that has been air pruned causes that root to branch back into the container. So instead of just having roots against the sidewall with virtually no protection, this plant has roots on the outside, but also all the way through back to the center of the mix to the base of the stem. So if, when temperatures get cold enough to kill the roots on this one, they may, it may kill the roots on the very outside, but there's many roots back inside that are further protection, protected by the, uh, the mass of the container growth medium. It makes a big difference not only in the growth of the plants but in tolerance to cold. The other thing to, to realize in growing plants in containers is that this container can freeze uh, and, and these already have. Uh, you know you knock one of these out you see loads of white root tips, white roots, okay, tan roots. These have been frozen several times, but it's not the freezing process that kills roots. It's the temperature that kills roots. Many years ago, in conjunction with some excellent students that I enjoyed having, we would take an assortment of plants. In fact, one of the holly plants is what we did most of our work with. We could take the temperature of the root system down to 20 degrees, or 25 degrees I think is where we started and then back bring the plants back up to the greenhouse warm them up and they would grow normally no injury to the root system or down to 20 degrees same thing happened but once the temperature we allowed the temperature in a growth chamber to drop below about 15 degrees many of the root tips were killed 
so it's not the freezing process. This thing can be as hard as a rock, frozen, and as long as it doesn't drop below about 15 degrees, where those roots are just inside this plastic, the plant's fine. But if it drops below that and gets down to 12 degrees or 10 degrees, many of the roots on the outside are dead. But many of the roots back in the center, because of what the root maker pot does, are still alive and healthy. And so the plants typically regrow from that particular point. But protection of plants and containers is, is totally unique compared to Mother Nature's Earth, where you're dealing with warmth arising toward the surface in the Earth itself, and that insulating mat of leaves and debris, whatever mulch happens to be on the surface, there too, soils freeze. You know, was, uh, my time in Iowa, I mean, there would be times when the soil would be frozen three feet deep. But it might only be 29 degrees or 26 degrees and so the roots were not harmed even though the soil was frozen so with that bit of information maybe that will help you understand and make adjustments i wonder what that looks like <laughs>